hello guys welcome back to Faisalabad observer today we are here with a with a new topic the title of the topic is trade union and the description include we will discuss about unions union objectives factor leading to employ employ collective bargaining phases of labor relationship there are the certain topics that we will discuss in this chapter so let's start let's start from union union as it is clear to you that what is union union is a unity of people and unity of anything but here we are going to discuss about hrm and hrm is everything about many people so i think here we are going to discuss union with respect to unity in an organization organization of worker acting collectively seeking to protect and promote their mutual interests through collective bargaining is termed as union so as it as it is clear that ke logon ka yak ek ho jana union kehlata hai unity a union stand a union strong prefer, preference for high wages job security etc <coughs> excuse me example of union are international brotherhood or brotherhood of teamsters man of a great example union objectives iske objectives kya hote hain one of the finest objective is growth ke aapke business ki aapki organization ki growth badhti hai power aapki jo industry hai uski power increase hoti hai we define power here as the amount of external control that an, an organization is able to exert by achieving power a union is capable of exerting sport in in the political arena factor leading to employee unionization there are three types of factors play a role in your region of employee union they are working environment compensation management style organization treatment the impact of union on human resource management what are the impact of union on human resource manager management managers are more likely to develop hrm policies based on efficiency but when a union is in picture policy must reflect employee preference as well as employee have preference related to staffing employee development compensation and employee relations staffing staffing effort to continue process of finding selecting evaluating and developing a working relationship between current or future employees employee development there is often a great amount of personal training employee development is important for efficiency compensation giving benefits to the workers employee relationship relations the labor contract give employees specific rights yani ke jo bhi inke right hai wo unko diye jaye collective bargaining collective bargaining is a process of negotiating between the employer and a group of employers aimed at agreement to regulate working condition collective bargaining इन नाम से जाहिर है कि इसको इसके लिए टेबल टॉप रखी जाए जो हर किसी के लिए कम्फर्टेबल सूटेबल हो द कलेक्टिव बार्गेनिंग प्रोसेस प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर नगोशिएशन म्यूचुअली एक्सेप्टेबल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट यूनियन मेम्बरशिप फीडबैक फीडबैक फॉर इम्पोर्टेंट कंपनसेशन एंड बेनिफिट वेज रेट शेड्यूल ओवर टाइम प्रीमियम पे जूरी पे राइट जूरी पे राइट ऑफ जूरी those who decide lay off or severance pay holidays vacation family care these are all the compensation and benefits that should be given by the owner to their organization's worker grievance procedure it contains the mean by which employee can voice dissatisfaction with specific management actions employee security one of the important step <coughs> excuse me grievance handling under the collective bargaining agreement if employee is in is if employee in an organization are represented by union workers who believe that they have been disciplined or dealt with unjustly can appeal to the grievance and arbitration procedures of the collective bargaining agreements grievance and procedure arbitration phases of labor relationship let's discuss it what are the phases of relations Labor relations is defined as the relation between various representative and management. Labor relation can be divided into following three phases: union organizing, organizing, collective bargaining, and contract administration. Union organization, organizing, 
organization of workers acting collectively seeking to protect and promote their mutual interests through collective bargaining is termed as union as it is clear from the definition collective bargaining and negotiation between employer and group of employers right contract administration it is an important factor the agreement established the union and management relationship for the duration of contracts it means that the contract was the administration in the midst of it it is also a kind of union that the agreements are complete so i hope that you will enjoy this thank you for watching allah hafiz don't forget to like and comment